Forbes. All right, so Rolling Stone Magazine co-founder Jan Wenner, he has now been removed from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Foundation's board. Yeah, following recent comments about female and black musicians. So asked, he was asked by the New York Times about his decision not to include interviews with any black or female artists in his brand new book about rock and roll uh, called The Masters. Uh, Wenner's response included this gem, hold on to your seats. Quote, insofar as the women, just none of them were as articulate enough on this intellectual level. So he has now apologized, as you can imagine, apologizing, apologizing for his remarks. Let's react to this. He was kind of off script in an interview when someone says something, do you just believe them? Absolutely. In this case, are you kidding me? If it quacks like a duck and it walks like a duck, it's a duck. And what this man is, is a full on racist because what's really hard to uh, digest with this story is that the history of music in the United States, everything from rock and roll to country music, the black artists who started those genres always had their music stolen from them. And then a white artist would re-record that song and then they would get all the hits and all the radio play and that black artist would just not make any money and we never heard about them. So to know that the person who was in charge of the rock and roll Bible and the person who decides who's gonna make it into the rock and roll hall of fame also has those same ideas and racist ideas in their mind just goes to show that that systemic racism is everywhere. No matter how talented you are or what you do, they're gonna use things like, and this is the dog whistle racism that I know you, you probably experienced, where they use words like articulate and well-spoken. They're not articulate enough. So you can be on stage and you can rock out to 80,000 people, but you can't do an interview for a little magazine. I highly doubt that. This, what also is really, aggravating is that the men that he listed as men that he liked to talk to, all of those artists have had a great career off the blacks, uh, backs of black artists, whether they were in their bands or their backup singers or outright stealing their dance moves, Mick Jagger, I'm talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the part, it's like, and as a music historian, shouldn't you know that? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. part of your job. You cover this genre, you're completely oblivious to that. So what you're telling us is you're really just racist. Yeah. yeah. Well, just to connect the dots in there, because, the, yeah, he started out with the misogynist comment that was specifically about women and how they are not, what did he Intellectual enough. Intellectual enough. enough. Yeah. And then he went on in the interview later on to talk about why he didn't include black musicians, and you're right. He was sort of saying, well, maybe I would have done it with Otis Redding, or maybe, but there's Marvin Gaye. Marvin yeah. Gaye. But, you know, but ma basically he read interviews of them in the past and didn't feel like they were intelligent enough. So, again, he, he dug a hole, and then he further dug right. the hole mm -hmm. later Even on. Deeper. So, and I think yeah. that's the thing about it, too. Like, uh, it's, it's for me reading this story and hearing about, it's just the sadness of knowing how many artists, how many black artists, how many women in that time he was running this magazine and trying to make all these lists, how many of them didn't get a chance to shine, didn't have their career shortened or just never happened mm -hmm. because someone had this archaic, ignorant thoughts about what they could do. And for someone like him to question the intellect of Stevie Wonder, someone who was making classical music at like, 13 years old yep. mm -hmm. is insane to me. Like, it's just such, it's almost like a joke to be like, is, is Stevie Wonder like smart enough to sit down with me? I even say, no, you're not even smart enough to sit down with Stevie That's Wonder. That's right, thank you. you. <laughs> That's the problem. And for me, I think it should be just a bigger lesson for all the institutions we have, not just in entertainment, but of course, to understand that a lot of them have been built on racist ideas. Mm -hmm. And the change that people are asking for, the diversity people are asking for, all across entertainment and in other industries is because different voices allow for different people to be represented mm -hmm. who previously thought they were less than just because of the color of their skin or their gender. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I love what you said. The last word on this is that it would have been a far more interesting book um, to me if he, as a music historian, mm -hmm. as a lover of rock and roll, would have created a book called like The Warriors, The Survivors, of the voices of the artists that were ripped off by people like Elvis Presley yep. and said, these are the people that should yeah. have been. But he doesn't it. believe that but they're articulate it. enough. And 
yeah. and how scary it is that he is the ultimate gatekeeper. Yes. He has been at the helm. He co-founded Rolling Stone magazine in 1967, and he was there on the board until 2019, was still involved until he just got fired over the weekend. And how long he gate was at the gate well, as a tell. gatekeeper. You can tell also because there was such a smugness, and you can tell he had no flit. He said these things. Mm -hmm. He just said them, which tells me that he sat in rooms for a long time, probably, and said these exact same things. And the people surrounding him were just like, yeah, that sounds like right. 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 right? Yeah. And that's exactly to your yeah. point. That's why, again, you need diversity. diversity. Yes. Anyway. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.